All right, everyone. So we find ourselves outside of Al Hannibal's private thaumaturge lab. As we can see, fortunately blast proof. He has created this thing to be the ultimate uh, unbreakable structure. He has no fear about what any of his uh, thaumaturgical uh, experiments can do. Funny enough, he gave me a key to his house. So, mmm, look at this place. Isn't it lovely? But uh, seeing as it is now Valentine's Day, I think what we can do today is deck the place out a bit. I'm sure he would really appreciate me taking the time to just redecorate. I mean, it's the season of giving, isn't it? And, uh, no it isn't. It's Valentine's Day. I'm not really sure what it's good for. But I know at the very least, he can appreciate a lovely new pink house. Because while his house is indestructible, it is also a little bit bland. So let's liven up the place with a lot of pink. A lot of pink. In fact, I think I'm going to build a nice, happy structure or something on the very top of his house. I'm, I know he'll appreciate that. I've got a lot of, uh, of other things to do, too. I remember seeing in one of uh, his and... Oh, I can't place anything on there. Can I place it on there? No. How about on his world? Yes, on his world anchor. Yes, I remember seeing in one of the uh, adventure challenge maps that he really liked flower pots. So I'm going to place roses all over his house as well. I think that'll be great. I, I think he'll love it. In fact, that light's a bit dull. Let's... Let's cover this light up. We don't we don't need light in this house. No, this is going to be Al Hannibal's private thaumaturge lab. Oh yeah. Bring on the ladies. I know there aren't any ladies on the server right now, but we'll pretend. In fact, uh, most people are uh, probably very sad on Valentine's Day. So, you know what? I'm also going to give Al Hannibal some friends. Some lovely friends. I got a little bit lonely in my house too, and I found a great way to have friends is with chickens. So we're gonna fill his house with chickens. But not just any kind of chickens. Very festive chickens. So let's see how many we get from all these eggs. Great, okay. Oh, I hope they don't fall in his cauldron, so we're gonna cover those up. I don't think these panels are flammable. But, uh, we're gonna assume they're not, because I can't really change the fact if they are. But, uh, okay! So to give him some lovely friends for Valentine's Day, I've got some transformation powder! That's right! Al Hannibal's lovely penguin bag. Come here! There we go! It's funny, because they change instantly into full-grown penguins. Love this. I just know he's gonna have a wonderful right time. There. Let's cover up these skulls. Those aren't happy skulls. No way. Nope, we're having a happy skull time. Well, not happy skull time. So we're gonna cover this all up. Just so that it's nice and uniformly pink. Because if, uh, if he does, like, have, like, a disco party on the server, I definitely don't want anybody, like, poking their eyes out on these giant crystal shards he's got poking out of the walls here. No, he's gonna, he's gonna have a nice padded room with which to uh, showcase everything. Thanks to the micro blocks, I believe these uh, two stacks of wool that were graciously practically provided by La Squatch will uh, basically be exactly like And just a few modifications to his rooftop. I mean, it was just flat before. I want to give him a reason to really enjoy coming home. And the best part is I'm sure this is going to be a wonderful surprise because as I've noticed with my own house, when you use microblock covers, the block changes don't show up on Ray's minimap. So if he happens to come back from the end mining for Sheldonite, he won't be able to tell until he's up close that his entire house is now pink. Al Hannibal also just seems to have a bit of a running gag in that out of everybody here on Cryptocraft, he's the one who really doesn't record. It's kind of too bad. Uh, since Knight's footage of our Withers challenge map uh, didn't go up, that means I kind of have to wait for uh, Hannibal to do it, or at least I hope he'll do it. He might actually never do it. Um, I hope he has fun anyway. This this is definitely all about having fun. 
I don't think anyone else has really considered doing pranks to everybody since it seems like everybody's either just started, but Hannibal, he's the one who's actually got, like, a ridiculous... Like, he's... He's got the Nano Saber, he's getting Iridium, he's the one out of everybody here that I can clearly say is kind of reaching an endgame. So, I think I'd like to give him something to do. And a great something to do, I think, is, is, uh, is having a great time playing around with, uh, Valentine's Day, why not? Now, how do we want this big heart to look like? Because making giant squares... In Minecraft makes making giant, um, I really didn't plan this out first, so I'm just gonna make it as big and as ridiculous as I can, uh, following that, uh, I only have a stack of wool. Uh, I think I can probably start doing the interior of the heart here, maybe. I hope, I might, I might actually have enough wool to do this to more than one person, which would be pretty boss. I would really like that. I mean, we could... <laughs> I think they'd enjoy it. I don't think anyone else has actually done any pranks here, and I know I've never actually pranked anybody before either, so... This is a great first. Uh, how's that coming out? That looks pretty good! All things considered, that looks pretty good. Alright, let's... Let's let's do the same thing on this end. Now, of course, it's gonna be difficult, because... All these wool blocks mean I can't really place anything. Yeah, I might actually have enough to, like, make a giant hollow on, on, like, Knight's house if I have time afterwards. And providing he doesn't come on early. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this up. And we'll try and get it, like, symmetrical. So maybe he'll think about keeping it up for the season. Like, that would be hilarious if this was just here the whole time. There we go. And one more. Okay. Giant heart get? Okay, let's let's go look down at what this looks like, because I want it to be really, really nice. Like, I want this to be the kind of prank where he's like, eh. I, 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 don't, I don't even know if he hates pink. No, no, that's a bit off. A little bit off. I gotta double up this bit right here. There we go. It's not destructive. It's merely fun. Okay. How's that? I don't know. Giant heart for L. Hannibal. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Now, I think what this heart needs is mood lighting. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to grab some more of this red wool. And we're going to put... No, 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 no. Pink, 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 pink. Yeah. We're going to add some of these red tallow candles. Make sure the place is lit up real nice and good. Oh, that is cute. That's nice. I'm liking this. Yeah. Yeah, all around. That's, that's good. That's good. I want to light up the front of it somehow. Oh, this is the clincher. Yeah. I'm going to break out the middle. I'm going to put a nice little warm heat piece of night ore inside. Oh, yeah. If that doesn't get someone's flame burning, I don't know what will. That's great. Now, unfortunately, on the inside, I can't really add much more. But I can add, perhaps, a stripper pole. I did add the fences specifically for this purpose. There we go. Now we can have fun with his penguins. That's great. Okay, uh, anything else I can do? I do have all these resources. I think I might have to do more than one. But I should at least leave a sign right here which says, um, Happy V-Day. Enjoy the sexy penguin party. F. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna love that. He's he's just gonna love it. Can I, um... Ah, oh, he can even cover up his table. Oh, that's, that is cool. Excuse me, little sexy penguins. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't... 
I don't even know if they know how to get penguins, but there we go. Oh, he's gonna lo he's gonna love it. Look how cool this place is. Giant heart on the roof. I even gave him some tallow candles. Those are uh, those are expensive to make. Well, a little bit, not really. <laughs> oh, that's great. You know what? I have so much other resources. Where else can I do this? Spawns just over there. I got red wool. I got lots more pink. Let's go see what else we can do. I'll be right back. And here we find ourselves at Knight's house. That's right, Knight, uh, 97M. His house has been kind of sitting here without walls for, as I'm understanding, a long time. Therefore, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna help him out. We're gonna make it all red and pink. He was saying the other day, Quip, you make great houses. Why can't I contract you to finish my house? Well, how about for Valentine's Day, we do it free of charge. That's right. I'm going to give Knight free walls. That's amazing. No one else can really make that deal. Oh, wait, that's a great idea. How much do I have? Uh, I don't know. If I can, I'll make it double layered and alternating colors. I'm sure that that will really show him that I have attention to detail. I really do love this micro block stuff though. It takes, it basically takes a whole bunch of items, like uh, one single stack, and turns it into like four. So I didn't have to prepare a lot to make this prank. All I did, all I need to do was make a whole bunch of diamond, ha well, two ruby hand saws and a couple of stacks of wool. That's all the preparation I needed, and the idea, I guess. It's all about the idea sometimes. So, four high walls. This is going to take a while, but I know he'll appreciate it. I really know he's going to appreciate it. I mean, for goodness sakes, look at his house. Uh, it, it needed the makeover. Anybody, anybody, anywhere could have agreed with me on that. So we'll start off with a little base design. Uh, I'm not sure what he's got going on there, so we'll just start on the next wall. Yeah, right here. We'll start right here. And even if the colors don't match up, you know what? It'll be good enough. I know he'll appreciate the thought and the dedication that went into this. Especially since I think the server really is... Uh coming along great and it, it really needs a little bit of a push to say hey you know what we recognize holidays you know and we we have fun together and uh, we're not afraid to show our true colors and uh, enjoy pink and red when the need arises because I've noticed on HC server you know what people they don't like pink I'm surprised at them it's like you need to realize that, you know what, pink is an aspect of life. You can't get rid of it. It'll just keep coming back. Right? It, you can't just deny the niceness that is pink. I, I really don't know how these guys feel about Valentine's Day, to be honest. And I've noticed that little kids really are upset. Like, like boy kids. They're all like, no, pink, I hate pink, blah, 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 blah. They probably won't be like that. They'll probably be a bit surprised that I do something like this this early. I mean, Flip, this is what, day four you've been on the server? Uh, you've gotten a wonderful house, and you're going to give them a wonderful house, too. Wonderful pink-themed house. Like, uh, I don't, you know, it's just, they couldn't expect this, which is another w reason why I'm just having so much fun. Ah, uh, why don't we make some nice pink-themed furniture and use the rest of the mood candles after we're done repaneling this house because there aren't even any walls <laughs> like m maybe it'll give him a good idea on how to finish it i don't know i really don't know what'll happen and i hope that they do some reaction videos because i think those are the best i'm just really glad to be a part of something bigger you know and uh have fun with people gosh i couldn't do this on single quest what think about it would anybody want to watch a video where Flip pranks himself? That would be boring as hell. But a video where I go around making everything pink. That's funny. This is great. You know what? I'll see you in a bit because this is going to take a while. Yeah, there we go. Now, this is the perfect way to show 
love for the server. Seriously, I mean, how many episodes of CryptoCraft has Knight done so far? Mmm, 22? And he still hasn't finished his house? He's been so busy lately with bees and trees and power generation. Why, the other day the factory broke down, the lava tubes weren't working, and I know even Al Hannibal had to go home because... Well, how is he going to make his paycheck if, uh... The energy just doesn't isn't working anymore. So I figure this is a great way to make my new presence known on the server. As well as uh, help him out. Because he really, really needed a house. And I really love that the minimap doesn't recognize these mini block changes. So he'll only realize what I've done when he's like next to it. Uh, let's extend this up a little bit more maybe. Just for aesthetics. Yeah, because when he's inside the house, it's going to look bigger than it is. Great. Perfect. Okay, now the next question I want to ask myself is what should the interior look like? Because obviously if I've done this much work to the exterior, there's got to be something good going on on the inside. I still have all those candles left. And some pots and roses in it. So let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look from the inside. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It needs some work. He's got some half slabs going on. So, to start off with, I think what we need to do is maybe give him a whole second floor. That would be perfect. Uh, what do I have more of? Panels. Yeah, okay, let's chop these things up. There we go. I'm getting low on the hand saws. Now, to really get it going... Since it's half slab, that's a problem. But I have resolved in my pranking to be sure never to break anything, only to add things. So, how are we going to do this to make it look really cool? Well, at the very least, what we could do is throw some candles around. Yeah, mood lighting candles. At the very least, this will make a lot of sense. Why don't we just throw those about randomly because he hasn't given me a floor to work with that's adequate. I bet he doesn't even know how to get these candles, so that's a definite plus. And uh, I think I've got... Yes, I've got some more flower pots sitting around. Lovely, 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 lovely. Put another one over here, why not? Maybe they'll even blend into the wall. That would be pretty funny. Alright, set that up here. I know that he doesn't have a problem with flower pots, but hey, a, lo a bunch of lovely roses will be just the thing to accent this place off, wouldn't you say? I would, and I'm the designer, so great. Yeah, giant heart in the ceiling. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I wanted to add something else, but it looks like it might be really difficult unless we break the floor. And I'm not going to break the floor. That's that's going too far. Although, I'm sure one block replacement wouldn't be that bad. So let's try that. We'll just remove one half slab. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. And we'll place it back in the floor. There we go, yes. And now I can add in the pole. Perfect. I always think these are funny. You gotta, you gotta laugh. Okay, perfect. Um, what next? Uh, I can put a couple of poles around, actually. Couldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll appreciate these new changes. They should give him some real design ideas on what to do with this place if he doesn't like it. And if he does like it, well, even if he doesn't, he's got a ton of wool to really think about what he can do. Here we go, we'll put some covers on. Uh, oh, yeah. Cover it real nice. I can even use different color covers, too. To really give it a nice appearance. Yeah, that's getting there. That's getting there. And we'll alternate on this one. That'll look even better. 
Yes, it will. Perfect. Now, what to do about more candles or things? That's nice. That's dandy, isn't it? I didn't alternate it correctly, but uh, that's okay. I'm sure he won't mind. Now, something else. Something else to do in here. Well, we could add some tables and chairs. Doesn't even have a bed in here, does he? Poor knight. Oh, he's too busy to take some time off for himself. Okay. Let's set something up here. It's funny because this looks like a wool block, but really it's like five separate ones. Okay, and... Let's cut him up a table. I think that would be a good idea. It's not very difficult to make tables in uh, microblocks. There we go. It might be now that uh, everything I have is just being torn to shreds. Okay. So, what do we want to do? Uh, okay, to make a table, you need to place your blocks against something. So, like this... And we'll come around to this side, and we'll repeat the process. There we go. Give him a nice red thing on top. There we go. And what should go on this table? Um... Hmm... What do I have left, really? Uh... Another oh, flower pot, actually, would be fine, wouldn't it? There we go, yes. Perfect. I like seeing details. There we go. Oh, that that is lovely. Knight's new love shack. Yeah, it's the love shack. Ha <laughs> ha. That works. That 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 works nicely. Let's put a pink table up over here. That would be good too, wouldn't it? Right in the floor. I think, uh, I think that nice little accent table, oops, an accent table would be just the thing to really spice up this place. Come on, oh, no, I did that wrong. That's okay, we'll get out of here and we'll just continue. There, we'll put that there, and now we'll make another table. Of course, with more micro blocks. Which will make it a little difficult to remove, but, hey, that's life. Great. Great. Okay. Now, the next step, of course, is to continue with a pink table right next to this one. So that'll take two of these. Oops, six. I didn't want that. Eh, eight. Okay. We're going to have to have another table somewhere. I have so much stuff left over. It makes me want to prank the Squatch too, just because I've got all this stuff saved up now. But you know what? He's the one that kind of gave me the idea, because he, he pinkified all the sheep. If he didn't do that, I wouldn't have had these materials. So I kind of want to say that he's exempt. There we go. Nice lighting. Because now it's really dark in this place. Look at that. That's, that's lovely. In fact, let's put that up here too. And I've got some item frames that I can use to really also make the place look great. Uh, haven't planned anything else out. I, I really didn't really plan this. In fact, I thought I was just going to be pranking Hannibal, to be honest. Because I have no reason to not be honest. But the thing is, I, I just had this stuff left over. There we go. Beautiful. So, I might actually do... Something about the Squatch too. I mean, there we go. Look at that. That's nice. Couple tables. Couple flowers. Very love themed. Perfect. What next though? I don't have the chickens I need to give him a penguin party too. Hmm. I'm not really sure. 
But what I could do is just uh, set up some item frames with roses in them. Very nice. And a candle. There! Perfect. Okay. You know what? Let's call that done. This is pretty good. I, I, I don't know what he'll think about his new house. Or rather, what I've done to his existing house. You know what, everybody? With so many panels still remaining, I think what I'm going to do is just cover all of Knight's house. Like, everything that isn't pink will now be pink. That makes sense. You know what? Some people say that uh, the simple act of covering an object in something is an art form. I'm serious. Like, there are artists out there that have done, like, sculptures and just draped towels over them and then called it done. Okay, maybe not towels. Maybe they were, you know, fancy-looking sheets. I don't know. Anyway, I'd say that this is art. The fact that this entire house has been remodeled into the spirit of Valentine's Day and that you cannot even see it from an aerial view on your minimap until you're, like... No, it, it hasn't changed at all. It looks exactly the same on the minimap. That is the kicker. I absolutely love that factor. Like, if Knight walks up to this house, he's he's going to know the difference, quite obviously. But until he does, like, he might just have an... I don't even know how they're going to find out. That's not my concern. The concerns of a person pranking somebody is that they enjoy it, they have fun, and that you are inviting them to do something interesting and unique and, and something else back to you. Because I want to know what... I, I have no idea what they would do to me. Because they definitely don't have any idea that I would do this to them. It's it's a great start. I think that's the point of it. That uh, prank wars near, need to start somewhere. And I, Fwip, I am... I'm a loaded fuel gun. Look at me go. Like, th there is no... Uh, there is no release button on this... On the tank that is me. Okay, uh... Let's, I'm almost out of blocks, aren't I? Yeah, so for these last ones, let's just finish up this entrance, because that's what everyone is going to see. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Look at this. They're going to love this. Like, how could you ask for more? Like, it is perfectly Valentine's themed now. I have, I have fixed his house completely. It's beautiful. It, it's just, it's, it's sparklingly beautiful. Oh, wow. I, I love it! I hope he loves it, too. I, I honestly do, because this... <laughs> this is so much fun. Alright, we'll cut this one up into some more pieces, I think, because we can do that. And, uh, I don't know, let's just attach them somewhere, like, um... To his entrance, yeah, just like this, little, little accents on the top. There we go. Thank you very much, Knight. I am very happy to be a part of the server, and I hope you enjoy the changes I have made to your house. Isn't it beautiful? Like, could, could you ask for more than this? I mean, anybody could, but I mean, would you want to ask for more than this, right? I think it's wonderful. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, it don't matter. You never need books, so there we go. I'll leave my sign right here on the bookshelf, and it'll say, uh, Happy V-Day from, yeah, Flip with la no, 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 no. I gotta say, Happy V-Day from your freely recontracted build, build, no. Builder Fwip. Because the joke is going to be that when he saw my house, he said, can I contract you to make it, right? And I'm sure he just kind of said that as a passing remark. But uh, there we go, right? A lovely, lovely house. And uh, let's let's put this rose in there, too. There we go. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Is there anything else we can do, maybe? Well, actually, I still have one more flower pot left, so... We'll put up a book just because, and, you know, everybody likes romance novels. That makes sense, right? Sure. We'll put that in the doorway so he knows it's there as soon as he comes. Well, how could he miss this? Oh, this is wonderful. 
If there were some chickens around, I'd want to penguinify them too, just so that he'd have, you know, as much fun as Hannibal. But I have to say, I think this is good. I think this is good. I think this is wonderful. Look at this from the outside. He's not going to know it's there until he arrives. And I'm sure he's going to log in like uh, over there. When I say that, I hope he appreciates it. I think, you know, it's part of the game to have fun with people. So it might take a while to take this all down. But I think he's just glad that I've taken such an interest in what is up with these floating blocks in the air. Maybe that'll come into play later, but uh, anyway, that's it for Whip's first attempt at pranking people on the CryptoCraft server. Again, hit today, we're, uh, we're Knight 97 m owner and uh, great, uh, great commentator. Uh, I hope he really does like the fact that I finished his house for him. I think that counts as a prank, wouldn't it? I mean, it's not, it's not like, amazing, because I've seen a lot of pranks in my day. But I figure it's a good start for one, because everybody's friendly, everybody's having fun, and I hope they have fun with this idea, too. I mean, it's Valentine's Day. This, uh, this heart-themed stuff doesn't come around every so often, so let's, let's have one little passing look again. Hannibal's Heart Shack. Oh, wow. This little stripper pole filled his house with penguins. It's great. I mean, there's a lot of pink wool on this house. And who knows, maybe he'll even use the night ore for something. I, I can't imagine what. Probably golems. But uh, thanks for watching and joining me, Thwip, uh, playing today. Uh, I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can prank other people. And remember, uh, always make sure to brief it with them first if you're going to be pranking people. Because otherwise they might think it was grief. But a good way, I think, to determine if, a, if you've been pranked or griefed is if anything's been broken. Because as you can see here in this prank, nothing's broken, there's no TNT, there's no lava. I just rebuilt his house for him and put a giant heart on Hannibal's private lab. So I will see you all next time. Ciao!